In this video, we're going to look at a really advanced command called the rib command. Now this tool can be utilized in a lot of different areas. However, it really shines when you work with plastic materials or anything that needs to create a rib network or support structure inside of a plastic or perhaps maybe even a casted piece of material. So here I have the rib.ipt from our working files directory. And I want to kind of set up how this initial rib profile gets put into place. What I have here is a work plane which is the rib plane label. And on that rib plane, I have sketch 12. Now sketch 12, if you kind of zoom in here to take a look at it, is basically a bunch of lines. That's all it is. So I have line, 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 line. Now I also might have points in here. So there's a point center, a point center. Let's see if we can't find any more. I think it's just those two point centers, okay? Those point centers matter because they pick up under certain conditions with the rib command. I'll go ahead and start that tool. And here I need to select my profile. I'm just going to grab these different lines here that represent my rib. Now, taking a look at what we have, we can see a very, very nice preview of this. In fact, I'm gonna make the thickness a little bit bigger at two millimeters so we can see it even better. We can see that we have our existing network created here where it's spanning across the entire internal network of that rib, as well as extending beyond the extents of the line. It's doing that because of this little check mark here called extent profile. If I uncheck that, you can see it only terminates to the end of where your rib network is. What if you want some of these to be extended and some of them not to be extended? Well, then you'd have to do two separate rib commands or you would have to modify your rib and sketch. So for now, I'm okay with what I have here. However, I do want to unselect certain lines. So I'll go back here to profile and I'm gonna hold down control and just deselect these lines. I'm gonna use my extended profile to make those extended all the way across. Let's examine this a little bit closer. Here I have my thickness going in both directions away from the line. So right now I have one millimeter going to the right and one millimeter going to the left. I could adjust that to go one way or the other. Here I'm satisfied with it going both ways symmetrically. I also have the control here for a finite rib value. So instead of it extending down into the surface, I can tell it to only be 20 millimeters. Well, 20 millimeters definitely goes all the way down. So how about we do five? So you can see a very short rib there. A little bit harder to actually create if you know anything about plastics. So I think I'm okay just leaving that be a two next scenario. Now on the back side here, we can see those two point centers actually create a couple of little nubs coming off of there. Well, that's these bosses, this last tab here in the rib command. So if you don't want the bosses, you're going to have to deselect them. You had to make a conscious choice to put those point centers down in order for them to be created though. So let's assume I do want these. And for my diameters, I'm going to make those three. For the offset from the rib, we're going to make it zero, so it's actually flush with that. And I can also apply a draft angle. Here I'm going to put a one degree draft angle on there. It's going to make them get a little bit larger as they get to the bottom. Well, what about the rest of the rib? Can't I put a draft angle on that? Well, you sure can. Just go back over here to the draft tab, and you can apply your hold thickness at the top or the root and then apply your draft angle. So here I'll do one, and it gets a little bit wider at the bottom. Now, obviously, those of you who know plastic design know that you really have to watch out for a cold sink or different types of blemishes by the actual cooling of the plastic on the outside of this design. These are all things you need to be careful of as you're designing any sort of plastic part. For now, I'll choose OK to create that rib. I'll go ahead and share that sketch by turning the visibility back on. Go back to rib again and choose these to be extended profiles. Obviously, I can apply draft there as well. well. What about this one here? Well, this one here ended up not wanting to be extended because it would end up into the handle there. So really, I need that to be part of the first rib. I'll go back to rib one and just re-add that profile. And I'll turn off the extended profile there. And you can see it actually breaks up that initial condition. So instead, I'll go back to rib two, try to add it there. Again, same problem because I can't have a combination of extended profiles. 
So it looks like I'm actually going to have to create a third rib. But I can use that one network to control all of these. There we have it. Once you're done with your sketch, simply turn off the visibility and you got yourself a nice rib network.